what's up guys welcome back um, so now we're gonna throw on some loads into our spring system and remember we've uh, defined a pin support a roller support and a fix support at node number three so we want to throw some loads now one thing to note we want to change up our uh, our modeling tool to a different Windows shortcut bar so this is the first time we've done this this is a big step so pay attention go down where it says loads we want to apply a load so click the load button crazy I know so okay so then it changed color and notice again we lost our supports here it doesn't mean that they're not there it just means that they're not showing right now but they're still there trust me and uh, yeah so we got like a, a pinky background now so that's what the loads looks like and we've got some different load tools um, for now we're dealing with a spring system we can't load them the spring itself right so we have to put loads at each of the nodes another important thing to remember you can only load the nodes now that rhymes only load the nodes <laughs> when you're uh, when you're dealing with springs you can't put any loads on the spring itself it doesn't work so joint load right we want to load the joint click on that and then we'll go up top notice how that changed see up here on the, uh, the data bar watch up here I'm gonna click joint load bam we got some different things here it changed so first of all we can do this manually we can enter everything in here or we can click on it which we'll do both so defining loads joints we want to put a load at joint number let's say two because it's a spring system we can only move right now in the X direction if we load joint one it's a pin support it's not going to do anything let's throw these up and if we load joint three it's a fixed support nothing's going to happen but because joint two is a roller support things can happen all right so we want to load joint two direction y force no let's try the x force the force the x force use the force x force all right magnitude it's in kilonewtons and we want to put on let's throw 10 kilonewtons just for fun i don't know what it's going to look like but 10 kilonewtons for fun scale load keep that at no um, i'll explain the scale load factor here in a minute probably in the next video but for now let's just load up node number two so notice how nothing is there we haven't clicked ok yet so click ok on top left bam there you go now you got a 10 kilonewton force acting in the x direction at um node number two um so actually it's, it's a good point we want to put on a negative 10 at the same okay so now it went negative 10 and it shows in the left direction so the y by def or the uh, x translation going the right is always in the positive direction as you can see with our origin here let's just go back to to 10. there we go so we've defined the load and next video we're going to look at um, gale factor and different load properties